I suppose the biggest talking point that's come from this is, um, and I know it's a priority for you, you yeah. guys, is, is promoting African languages first, yeah. reducing that teacher-pupil ratio. Yeah, Nick, we have 11 beautiful official languages in, mm. our, in, in the country, and in the Western Cape particularly, we, we have piloted the Kosa program in schools. Mm. We, we started the pilot in 2013 and with 10 schools. These 10 schools received and ran with the, with, with, with the pilot so successfully that we've rolled our Kosa into these schools um, at whole scale mm. um, at the moment. Unfortunately, we again don't have the budget to roll it out bigger than these 10 schools. So we, 2016, these, the, the schools... Mainly around Cape Town or... Um, all, all spread out. I mean, okay. they were chosen. We have eight education districts, and there were one or two schools chosen from each district. Um, obviously, English-speaking schools mm. where um, Kosovo isn't the language of instruction. Mm. Um, and the, the school, it was so well received. We're really excited about the way that it has been received. So, it, it would be our hope that we would promote the teaching and learning of an African language before mm. we do focus on promoting international languages. Mm. So yes, another bit of irony in this announcement. We know that recently we've had uh, language policy tensions at Stellenbosch University, for example, and that's been over a South African language. Now, how much sense does it make at schools where it starts to introduce a foreign language? Well, I think, again, um, in, in a number of schools, parents do want their children to learn in Mandarin. And uh, to be honest, if, if my child could learn Mandarin, it would be fantastic. It's, it mm. opens up a world of business opportunities. But we face so many challenges in South Africa with language policies and addressing social issues in schools that to introduce an international language to learners that, 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 that an African language promotes social cohesion within the communities. Um, and we would hope that we would look at ways of addressing these issues before you know, expanding them into international language. Mm. Because it's not just a medium of instruction. I mean, there's a lot more you learn from a foreign language. Yeah, you learn um, cultural, di mm. cultural diversity, social cohesion. There's there's a number of aspects that, that that there's a number of positives that come from learning an African language and also from an international mm. language. <coughs> but domestically, we need to address domestic issues before, you know, expanding mm. them to an international level. So, Jess, final question: When do you think this will be gazetted into policy? When will this become official? I have no idea. It would be a question that the Department of Basic Education needs mm -hmm. to answer. Okay. Thank you very much.